Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome back to the last chapter, chapter five of The Witcher. There's also this epilogue. I don't know what that's all about. So maybe we're not in the last chapter, but we're getting somewhere close. Uh, we need to talk to uh, Triss, Velorad, and Duet about Ada because she is a Striga once again, and I need to figure out what to do. So let's just get this started. Triss, my dear. Geralt, I was worried about you. I worried too. I'm proud of you. Heard how you fought for Alvin. Horrible things are happening in Vizima. True, but the king has placed me under his, um, protection. Tell me, where's Alvin? Uh, Alvin vanished into thin air one day, despite the amulet I gave him. Vanished? That's awful. He might be anywhere in time and space. I had hoped the amulet would block those abilities. He's too powerful. I hope he'll be all right. Triss, I've been thinking about us. Oh, Geralt. Oh. You know what? Let's 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 make her happy. I am into her. I love <laughs> you. I want to be with you no matter what. Love is the sole thing of beauty in these rotten times. Geralt. I could change, take fewer risks. We'd find Alvin, live together. I'd build a house. <laughs> a house. Nice dream. You could breed horses and sheep. I'd tend the garden, cook meals. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. We grew to buy copper pots, iron rakes. We'd age with dignity. Evenings, you'd play bagpipes of your own making as a remedy <laughs> for my gloom. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Geralt, say something. I can't lose you. I'm here. These are trying times. We just need to survive. We can dream again when the madness passes. Yes, please. Triss, I... I love you too, Geralt. To the end of time. Very nice. Okay. Well, I do need to talk to her about the princess, I think. Geralt. Here we go. Endgame with Salamander draws near. I need a skilled armor to remake it. What? That's weird. This must be about the raven armor. What do you think about the situation with Ada? She's a Striga, Geralt. We both know that curses don't cast themselves. Any theories? Years ago when you first removed the curse, you ordered the princess to wear a necklace with an inclusion. Juniper, broom, and hazel branches were to be burned in her chambers. Don't tell me. Someone replaced the necklace and added crap to the fire. <laughs> yes. Someone close to her who knew the secret. Velared might know something. Okay. So you think I should aid the king? Definitely. In a sense, I'm a political prisoner. I could teleport away, but that would be highly inappropriate, and I still have a few matters to settle here. Namely? I can't tell you. For the time being, my position is tenuous. Still sketchy a bit. If you ah. have Foltis with the Striga, maybe you could vouch for me. I could resolve a few things and go free. How about it? If that's what you want, Triss. Thank you, Geralt. My endgame with Salamandra draws near. I know. I'd like to help you. How? Have you heard of Gnomic Armor? I'd need a skilled armorer to remake it. Someone with great knowledge of metals. Hmm. Kalkstein. I was just going to say. Vizima. He's certainly not short on knowledge and would help you. What do you think happened to Alvin? Frankly, I never guessed he'd bypass the Dimeridium. That would be a feat for many sorcerers. Mm-hmm. Clearly, he has enough power to teleport himself anywhere, perhaps even through time. I've got to go. I don't know what's gonna happen. Possible someone helped Ada turn into a Striga. Yeah. I must see Kalkstein the Alchemist, who is said to be an old Vizima. I haven't seen him for a long time. Let's talk to, uh, where the hell would Velorad go? Oh, he moved down here. Duet, I don't, I'll talk to you last. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Velorad. Could be worse. Geralt. Sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez. I've been having these weird issues with The Witcher lately. It just, like, stops randomly and then comes back up. I don't know what's going on. So I kind of missed what he said, but probably not that important. So let's get him going again here. The king told me about Ada. Dreadful. You warned us it might return. Uh, can you break the spell a second time? Uh, I think so. Though I grew weary of aiding fools, yeah. Certainly, though I grow weary of aiding fools. 
Hmm. It's my job to tell you the streak was seen in old Vizima, but privately. Make it quick. We'll speak privately later. Oh. Removing the princess's curse will be risky. True, but the king has ways of encouraging you to do it. <laughs> we'll see. Do what you will, but remember, Foltest loves his daughter very much. I know. Geralt. Aren't you a bit afraid, Velarad? The king looked irate. At me? I'd watch what I say if I were you. Hmm. I've served Temeria all my life. If they condemn me, I'll hold my head high as I walk to the gallows. Farewell. Okay, Striga sleeps in daytime, but apparently has, she has been seen in old Vizima. That's a good sign. Witcher? Count. No titles, please. Let us bury past misunderstandings oh, in yeah. the name of a greater cause. So be it. Geralt? The king wants me to lift the curse that holds Ada. Not surprising. You succeeded once, though it nearly cost you your life. The Striga's appearance possibly spells the end for Foltest. Many say he offended the gods. Remember how she first became a Striga? Um, I do, but I want him to tell the story. Remind me. As a youth, Foltest had uh, quite an appetite. So much so that he plowed his own sister. Their child died at birth, but then continued to grow in its coffin, only coming out to feed. Then you arrived and broke the spell, though apparently not <laughs> oh, completely. That is crazy. The Striga's reappearance proves the royal dynasty is cursed. The people are sensitive to such signs. No wonder Foltest wants you to kill the Striga. I thought I was supposed to lift the curse. You are to keep the Striga from becoming an eyesore. The chance of removing the curse is minimal. I've heard a rumor of an additional reward for killing the Striga. I'm not interested in rumors. You should be. It's your choice, Witcher, but give it some thought. Farewell. Interesting. So there's going to be some decisions to make. Ada's born in an incestuous union between King and his sister. I spoke with yes. Triss. Oh. Our merciful master will see you now, sir. Go upstairs to his chambers. I'll go immediately. Okay. Geralt. Don't you fear the king's anger, Duet? Wherever did you get that idea, Witcher? Foltest looked pretty pissed. He said something about bloodshed. Obviously, he spoke of the blood of traitors and non-humans. He might finally dispose of that failure, Velarad. Farewell. Okay. So, we gotta go talk to the king now. Wish me luck. Oh, I guess we're going this way. Damned recruits. So, basically, Duet's saying I could kill her. Um, and people would pay for that. Ah, uh, that's pretty risky, though, I'm thinking. I'm surrounded by imbeciles. <laughs> Welcome to how I feel all the time, brother. Witcher. Your Highness. No need for titles. Speak freely. You've had time to think. What's the prognosis on removing the curse from my daughter? It's possible. Could the curse have returned by itself? Unlikely. Someone must have cast it again. Should you succeed, would... Would Ada's mind be that of a child? I don't believe so. She'd likely recall all that occurred before her transformation. You don't believe so? You're not making this any easier, Geralt. Do what you can to remove the curse. Failing that, you may slay her without fear of retribution from me. When I last gave you my trust, you did not disappoint me. Thank you, sire. Okay, that's a Don't good sign. Don't me yet. Should you learn who cast the curse, tell me and only me. If you succeed, I'll grant your every wish within reason, of course. If you must slay her, do it quickly, cleanly. If you fail and my daughter suffers, those dear to you will suffer too. I understand, sire. Good. Sire, Holy another heavy. disease consumes your kingdom. What would that be, Witcher? I've been investigating an organization known as Salamandra. 
My daughter dealt with them, stupid girl. I regret I ever departed. To your credit, Venerad said you thinned their ranks considerably. I trust you shall finish the matter. Exactly my aim. One last matter, Witcher. Forgive me, but I had you followed. Mm -hmm. I received a report about your personal life. Your Highness. You must know that I hardly did this out of lewd curiosity. My spies report that you are romancing Merigold. I need to know if there is anything more to it. Triss and I, were close. There's no one's business but ours. We're lovers, nothing more, nothing less. Triss is a friend and none of your concern. Triss and I, we're close. That's no one's business but ours. No need to be rude, Witcher. I, too, loved Adder's mother. They forbade me from marrying her. But I hope you fare better. At He's least as a mutant, sister. you need not worry about pregnancy. If you desire to go to Vizima, talk to my Chamberlain. I shall be away from the castle for some time. See Velorad about any other needs. So I shall. Farewell, sire. One more thing, Witcher. Yes, sire. This is, um, confidential. So you must pledge these words will not venture beyond these walls. I shall take them to the grave with me. My spies tell me you play poker. <laughs> and, well, I have trouble finding no worthy opponents at court. <laughs> they fear I would have their heads if I lost. Care to play? Let's do it. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is, could be a lot of money. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet low just to see if I can beat the guy before I start throwing money out the window. One, two, three, five, six. <laughs> this is not starting out well. I'm gonna go for a four. <laughs> not a chance. Didn't even get a pair. This round is his. And this could this could bankrupt a guy and quick. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, close. Uh oh. Come on, twos. Nope. That was a big fail. Yeah, he kicked my ass. I must attend to other matters now. Oh, that's it? I must attend to other matters. No. Now. I shall detain you no longer. Talk to my chamberlain about transport to Vizima. Well, that's disappointing. I can only play him once. Yes. Maybe I can maybe I'll see him again I and I can play him. No Talk to my chamberlain about transport to Vizima. That was the uh, serious money. Holy. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. I see. Nothing. So let's talk to Velorad quick, and we'll talk to uh, Triss again, and then maybe get going to uh, Vizima. So let's talk to her now. Geralt. Nope. I've got to go. Nothing. Nope. Sure. All right, let's get moving then. Yes. Yes. I'd like to return to Vizima. Are you ready, sir? I am. I maybe could have left the front door and then came back in to face the king, but it's all good. Feels eerily similar to the uh, to the opening scene. Search for clues for the Striga's whereabouts. 
Oh, really? Come on. A gift from the gods. Shani told us about you. We met at St. Lebioda's Hospital in the Temple Quarter. I heard Shani set up a hospital. We tried going there, but with the fighting, we can't possibly manage alone. Knights of the Order and Scoyatel are fighting in every street and square. Their rule is, if you're not with us, you're against us. I'm glad I didn't get drawn into the war. Will you help us reach the hospital? Stay close to me. Oh, jeez. I'll try to avoid any fighting. <laughs> Promise to escort them to the hospital. Away the army of damned city guards. Let's try this. A looter? I don't fear you. There's the hospital door. Let's go. Inside. Thank you. We couldn't have managed without you. Yes, I doubt those butchers would have spared us. Glad to help. What good is this war if decent citizens of Vizima suffer the most? Most of the city folk care neither for the Order nor the Elves. They just want peace. Decision time. A turning point. I found my path. Ideals aren't worth dying for, especially if they're based on hatred. I chose neutrality. I'm a Witcher. That's right. Everyone disapproved. <laughs> Great. Literally standing in the middle of these two factions fighting each other. Can we help you? Yeah, we're Shani. We have much work, but we'll find time for you, should you ask. But not now. Shani would kill us. I see. Bye, girls. Did they proposition me? Welcome. You've set up a hospital. Clever. Do you have a minute? I have my hands full. Besides, I'm apparently not worthy oh, of yeah, your trust. Oh yeah, she is still pissed. What are you talking about? Alvin. You made it perfectly clear who's worthy of a witcher's trust and who's not. Who you'd sleep with on occasion, and who you'd entrust with a child. But... Enough. The wounded need my help. Oh god. Yeah, she's still pretty pissed. Master, are you a witcher? I am. What is it? Master Geralt, the she-beast is murdering people. What happened? The Strigger appeared by the tower. I was sent to get a Witcher. Already five soldiers have breathed their last. Help us. Which tower? The tallest in the district. The one the Scoyatel set ablaze. See, if I just... I imagine if I were to just run there, I should go there and look around. I don't want to get, like, into a fight, you know? Do what you must. Oh, God. We'll speak later. All right, well, I guess I'm not really getting a choice. I'm going to throw in uh, some Swallow here and some Tawny Owl. And I'll also imbue Blade with magic, so damage inflicted by 40, critical hit by 5. Increase the chance of hitting opponents and damage inflicted by 20. Critical hit by 30. Ooh, this one's pretty major. I'll save this one. Let's go with the Sferog rune. And since I'm... Pr I don't know who I'm going to be fighting. Let's maybe hold off. I can always do it, like, right before if necessary. Alright. So it wants me to go right there. I'll do it. See if we can spot anything. Whoa, 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 you guys. Jeez. I guess I'll take their money. Ok, 
Okay, so it's on it's in this tower here, so if we go around it, we should find it, but it's blocked. So we'll have to go the other way. Master? Tell me more about this Strigger. What's to say? She's the most Strigger-like Strigger there is. <laughs> Have you seen her? Truthfully, uh, no. Well, that Farewell. doesn't help. Kalkstein's here. Oh. What? <gasps> what is this? Mutant. Oh, that'll do. The hell is that thing? Finally, that monster is dead. Why are you here? I heard soldiers were fighting a Strigger, so I came to see the Zima's famous Strigger princess. Though not a Strigger, still interesting. Don't get too excited, Kolkstein. I'll pay these good soldiers to take these remains to my laboratory, and later I'll... Hold it. If not a Strigger, what is it? A combination of alchemy, genetics, biology, and black magic. A mutant like you. I can't wait to have a closer look. Like me? Similar. Magic and alchemy accelerates the mutation. The side effects are practically uncontrollable. It's hellishly quick and strong. To know more, I'd have to dissect it. I suspect I know who's behind this. Huh. Do you know where it came from? As our job, The soldier said it came from the Swamp Cemetery. Take this scroll. It details the formula for a powerful potion that will help if you choose to fight the Strigger. Salamandra grows bolder. Accelerated mutation and experiments on humans is a dirty business. And all based on stolen witches' secrets. Which you guarded for years without succumbing to any of these temptations. Congratulations. All right, but what about this Strigger? If the soldiers were wrong, I heard rumors of certain events in the swamp. What rumors? Be quick. They say a corpse was found at the old chapel there, torn open. The large intestine stretched to its full one and a half meters. All six and a half meters of the small intestine <laughs> wrapped around. That's fine. Nice Thanks. science lesson. Okay, I should see my friends and consider what to do next. Beast Fangs. Now return to the hospital. Tell mine to how it must be near the cemetery in the swamp. Must see Kalkstein the Alchemist. You can reforge the Raven's armor. Okay, back to the hospital. Let's talk to Kalkstein first about this armor. Geralt? Have you heard of Raven's armor? An interesting legend. A scientist could learn much about gnome technology from it. Could you recreate Raven's armor if I brought you the components? Hmm. Yes, but I would need a few baubles. The armor of Graf Cobus Reuter, who died at the Battle of Brenna. His armored corpse lies in one of the cemetery crypts. Ooh, that's good to know. The swamp Cemetery. Cobus Reuter. No problem. Anything else? The scrolls of an elven songmaster. Once again, try the swamp cemetery. Plunder the grave of an elven songmaster. Hmm. What else? So everything's at the cemetery. Also in the swamp, you'll find an old mine. When inside, look for a stone sensitive to magic. I know some spells. 
If you use the appropriate set of signs, the stone will reveal a secret passage hmm. to the lair of the famous sorceress Agnes de Glanville. Interesting. Beware the monsters who have settled there. When you reach the lair, find a magic formula within a chest. Jeez. Fetch me this formula, and I shall make you the witcher's armor. What sign combination should I use? Ard, Igni, and then Ard again. But reveal this to no one, and of course we'll need Raven's armor. Ard, Igni, Ard. Okay. Everything's in the swamp. Should look for all the components of my armor in the crypts in the swamp cemetery. Need to find the notes. Many pieces of Raven's armor. Crazy. Whoa, hello. These monsters are getting huge. Okay, I gotta go back to the hospital here. Graveyard bone. I would like to take these because I keep finding a lot of them. Uh, what's something I could get rid of? Let's see. I'll actually drop the, uh... uh I'm hesitant to drop Mandrake Root, because it seems like it's important for some reason. I know we used it once, but whatever. Let's get rid of it. Okay, now where's the hospital at? There it is. So it looks like Kalkstein's going to help us with the, uh, with the armor. And it turns out that most of the armor pieces and everything we really need for it... Damn, where is the hospital? Door to forge. Orders command post. I shall cut you, hairy ape. I kind of just don't need to get into it with these guys. Or maybe I do, I don't know. Let's check this out here. So if I go this way, that's to the dike. Old well, field hospital. Let's try that door. There we go. Let me in. What happened with the Striga? False alarm. Some mutant was attacking the soldiers. Need help? No more than anyone else. Let me decide. Shani. You seem to be in one piece. Not worried about Knights of the Order or Elves showing up? They both think you're treating the enemy. For me, they aren't enemies, just wounded. In this hospital, we make no racial or political distinctions. I came to understand that at Brenna. Rusty treated Nilfgaardians and our own, even shielded a patient with his own body when Elves showed up. If they come here, I hope I have the courage to protect my patients. I'm sure you will, though I'd rather you escaped. Nice to hear. Why are you telling me this? What's that sound? What? Whoa. You shall. Treating humans, I see. We wound them so they'll die. And you're treating them. How illogical. We'll treat and you too. Contrary to our interests. Out of my hospital. Murder each other to your heart's content in the street, but don't show your faces here. Shani, watch out. Kill the Dwan. Uh oh.
You guys get away from her. Okay, who's this magic one? This thing? Get out of here. Done. Some kind of... They wanted to slay the wounded. How can anyone fall so low? I've seen worse in town. Thank you. On behalf of all the patients. They shouldn't bother you anymore. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, because well. they're all dead. Whoa! Now the knights are coming in. What's happening? You're late. The attackers are already dead. Now please leave. You're scaring the wounded. Arrest and question all non-humans. Who gave you these orders? Our commander, White Rayla. Uh -oh. Seize them. Have you turned stupid, soldier? Either leave on your feet or die on your back. Die, monster! Defend wow. They all have these shields, though. That's the difficult part. There we go. Oh! That's crazy, so I bet you had we had chosen a side. Well, if we chosen a side, I doubt they'd be attacking me right now. So this is kind of the punishment for being neutral. There we go. Behead him. Whew. I need a drink. <laughs> I can't believe they wanted to slaughter us. Need any more help? I must reach the Swamp Cemetery. Half these wretches won't see tomorrow without the druid's medication. Perfect. I also need to go there. We'll sneak through. Let's go. Out the back. Evade the fighting. Okay, well, let's, uh, pick up as much stuff as we can. My lungs. Aww. Some kind of curse. Crazy. What did that? S oh, I saw wolf. Oh, yeah, wolf's aloe. Okay. Let's grab it. Okay, well, I'm gonna take a break here. We come back, we're gonna follow Shani, and we're gonna go to the swamp, which is, like, where everything is happening. So, uh, thank you guys once again, and I'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye.